Reverend Insanity. Chapter 746. Joyful News, A Way to Escape the Zombie Body. A few days later, Tai Bai Yun Sheng returned to Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Fang Yuan met with him and saw the joy in his eyes, saying, Old Bai, it seems that you have obtained something great in this journey to Eastern Sea. Tai Bai Yun Sheng laughed heartily. Junior brother is sharp as ever, that is right. Guess what gains I made this time. Fang Yuan said in curiosity, Fairy Yu Lu was a female attendant of Paradise Earth Immortal Venerable, she cultivated earth path and water path, she was skilled in defense and healing. I know about the group that you went with to attack the blessed land, did you unexpectedly succeed in one try and manage to take down Yu Lu blessed land? In truth, Fang Yuan did not think well of the prospects of Tai Bai Yun Sheng's trip. Tai Bai Yun Sheng's expression turned stiff, he sighed. So junior brother did not expect us to succeed, you were right after all. In this attempt, we attacked the blessed land for seven days and seven nights, but we were defeated by the land spirit and suffered huge losses. A Gu immortal nearly died, but I used man as before immortal Gu to save this person. Oh, Fang Yuan raised his eyebrows. He knew about the value of man as before immortal Gu. Once Tai Bai Yun Sheng exposed this Gu, his value would greatly rise among this group of people. As expected, Tai Bai Yun Sheng continued. After my man as before immortal Gu was exposed, I gained a lot of attention and respect. Next, Shark Demon invited me enthusiastically to go to Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance as a guest. Why would I dare to go to other people's base all alone? Thus, I rejected him. In the end, Shark Demon and two other immortal zombies hosted me in High She Blessed Land, and during the banquet I heard an important piece of news. Saying so, Tai Bai Yun Sheng paused, halting his words as he looked at Fang Yuan with shining eyes. Fang Yuan laughed mentally, he followed his intention and asked, He he, what important news is it? For you to leave me hanging like this? Tai Bai Yun Sheng's expression was solemn, he said. It is a method that can revive you, junior brother. It is a method to break free of your immortal zombie body. Oh, Fang Yuan's eyebrows rose. He had made no progress after joining Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. To think that Tai Bai Yun Sheng would make more progress before Fang Yuan even gained anything. What method is it? Fang Yuan asked. Tai Bai Yun Sheng said, Shark Demon has a wife called Su Bai Man, she is also an immortal zombie. A long time ago, she obtained a time path immortal Gu from an opportunity after defeating strong foes, its name is Time Anchor. This Gu can leave a mark in the river of time, even though that is useless on its own, when paired with other time path immortal Gu, the effect is incredible. Fang Yuan heard this and understood what Tai Bai Yun Sheng was going to say. His eyes shined, but they quickly dimmed. Old Bai, I understand what you mean. I've heard of Time Anchor Immortal Gu long ago. If paired with your landscape as before, it can indeed make a mountain or river be restored to a certain period in time. If used with man as before, it can theoretically send a target back to their body condition at a certain time period as well. But the requirement for this is, Time Anchor Immortal Gu has to leave a marking in advance. That is correct, my man as before Immortal Gu can only go back by an instant in time, but with Time Anchor Immortal Gu, we can exceed that limit of a single instant. Junior brother, with this method, you might be able to get rid of your immortal zombie status. Tai Bai Yun Sheng was excited. Tai Bai Yun Sheng's words were not wrong. Gu are the essence of heaven and earth. They each have one effect, all being different. Immortal Gu are unique, although they are powerful, they have weaknesses and limitations. Man is the spirit of all beings, they were most skilled in wisdom and creation. Using a combination of different Gu worms, they could raise the overall effect and make up for the respective Gu's weaknesses. With Time Anchor Immortal Gu's assistance, man as before Immortal Gu can break free of the single instant limitation, but Fang Yuan shook his head, continuing, 
The coordinated usage of two immortal goo is not as simple as just using them, many mortal goo are needed at the same time. In fact, other immortal goo might also be needed, in order to form an immortal killer move. Time anchor and man as before can indeed coordinate theoretically. But you do not have a corresponding immortal killer move, I think Shark Demon is providing you such hospitality because he wants you to help them. To contribute man as before so that they can research the immortal killer move, right? Tai Bai Yun Sheng nodded continuously, praising, Junior brother is smart, you guessed accurately, that was indeed the case. It is a pity, it is a pity. Fang Yuan shook his head again. A pity what? I think this method has high hopes. Tai Bai Yun Sheng looked at Fang Yuan uncertainly. Old Bai, you should know, the fact that I have become an immortal zombie has long since been set in stone. Maybe Shark Demon and others had used Time Anchor Immortal Goo before becoming immortal zombies and left a marking in the River of Time, but I did not. Thus, even if you research this killer move successfully, it is useless for me. Fang Yu inside. Tai Bai Yun Sheng laughed. Junior brother, your concern is right. But I have good news for you, that is, Su Bai Man and Shark Demon had not used Time Anchor Immortal Goo to leave a marking. Oh? Back then, Su Bai Man forced back her enemies and obtained Time Anchor Immortal Goo, but she did not know its usage. Su Bai Man was heavily injured at that time, she had no choice but to become an immortal zombie. After Shark Demon learned about this, in order to accompany his wife, he became an immortal zombie even though he had ample lifespan. Years after the two became immortal zombies, they finally learned about the origin and usage of Time Anchor Immortal Goo. So that's it. Fang Yuan's expression changed. Getting a mysterious immortal goo and spending a few years or even over ten years to learn about the origin and use of it, this was quite common. Previously in Imperial Court Blessed Land, Fang Yuan obtained many immortal goo as well, but he did not dare to test them recklessly. Thankfully, there was Lang Ya Lan spirit to clear up the information regarding those goo. Tai Bai Yun Sheng continued. When they found out about the use of time anchor goo, they were in deep regret, but it was too late. I had the same concerns as you, junior brother, and asked them during the banquet. Shark Demon and the other immortal zombies mentioned another method, that was Spring Autumn Cicada. Oh, Fang Yuan had a curious but suspicious expression, Spring Autumn Cicada is that mystical goo? Legends say that it can travel up the river of time and return to the past, but that has never been confirmed. Tai Bai Yun Sheng did not suspect anything. Spring Autumn Cicada is not reliable, Mentioning Spring Autumn Cicada was only as an example. Shark Demon was trying to say that even though they missed the timing to use Time Anchor Immortal Goo, if they could use Immortal Goo like Spring Autumn Cicada, they could bring the Goo Immortal in front of the River of Time. By then, using Time Anchor Immortal Goo to leave a marking upstream, one could use Man as before Immortal Goo successfully. I think that this method has a high chance of success. Fang Yuan shut his eyes slightly, he fell into deep thought and did not speak. What Tai Bai Yun Sheng did not know was, Fang Yuan in front of him was the owner of Spring Autumn Cicada. Be it Shark Demon or Tai Bai Yun Sheng, they were not familiar with Spring Autumn Cicada, they only knew about it from rumors. Fang Yuan thought, if I could directly use Spring Autumn Cicada, I would have used it. Why would I need to use an additional step with Time Anchor Immortal Goo? But this method in theory is possible. Fang Yuan had an agreement with Wisdom Goo in a way, he controlled Wisdom Goo. He could rise up quickly despite being an immortal zombie, charge forward in over half a year, rapidly changing his situation and finances, half of the reason was due to Wisdom Goo. If Fang Yuan wanted to use Spring Autumn Cicada to be reborn and get rid of the immortal zombie trouble, he would have used it long ago. That is, leaving aside for now the failure chance of Spring Autumn Cicada. But during the Northern Plains journey, Fang Yuan was too weak, even if he was reborn and did it again, there were too many variables. Fang Yuan did not even have a 5% confidence of getting greater benefits from it. 
the agreement with Wisdom Goo was truly due to the perfect time and place, that moment was simply too unique. The rank 9 Wisdom Goo was Fang Yuan's greatest profit. If he did not obtain Wisdom Goo, there would be no better benefits in comparison. Other than Spring Autumn Cicada, there are other Time Path Immortal Goo. Like Looking Back Immortal Goo and Vivid Recollection Immortal Goo, they can allow a Goo Immortal to stand in the present and observe the past, except that the two have differences. Using Looking Back in the area of the Old Earth Wood would allow one to see the former glorious scenery. Using Vivid Recollection Immortal Goo would allow one to inspect their own past. By refining the two Immortal Goo together, one could obtain the Rank 8 Immortal Goo Extreme Past, the Goo Immortals will can be drawn out and observe all that has happened in the past through the River of Time. Fang Yuan deduced in his mind, If I had the Time Path Investigative Immortal Goo Extreme Past, using it with the Time Anchor Immortal Goo, I might be able to form a Time Path Immortal Killer move, standing in the present and marking the past. Next, I can use man as before immortal goo to return to my human body and restore my living state without losing wisdom goo. Of course, extreme past immortal goo is just an example. There might be other time path immortal goo that are more compatible with time anchor. Fang Yuan thought over it before opening his eyes. Old Bai, thank you. He thanked Tai Bai Yun Sheng sincerely, Although this method is innovative, it would expend a lot of time, effort, and resources, it is at least a hundred-year project. But it is a form of hope at least. We are like family, there is not need to say thanks. Tai Bai Yun Sheng responded immediately. However, old Tai Bai understood what Fang Yuan was saying, he sighed as he continued, Exactly, it is at least some hope. Even though it will take a long time, during this period, junior brother, you can use the Black Oil and Zombie Alliance to slow the destruction of your blessed land. Even though Black Oil is hard to get, with my cooperative relationship with Shark Demon, I will be able to get enough. Fang Yuan laughed. During the period when you were gone, I had already used a fake identity, called Sha Huang, and made my way into Northern Plains Zombie Alliance so Junior Brother had such a plan. Fang Yuan continued, I want to attend the auction in Northern Plains, come along with me. This is the mortal killer move unfamiliar face, it came from thieving heaven demon venerable. I have a few cloud path killer moves, you can take a look, aren't you cultivating cloud path now as well? Tai Bai Yun Sheng received these killer move as a warm feeling emerged in his heart. When I was thinking about my junior brother's problems, he was also looking out for my benefits. Fang Yuan showed him the Gu Immortal Captives and the deal he had with Lang Yalan Spirit. Tai Bai Yun Sheng was shocked, he said with worry and excitement. It seems that this auction will be a great show. I will go with you, it would be best if Hai Lu Lan and Fairy Lai Shan also are there. They will definitely go. But although our alliance was exposed to Hai Cheng, now is not the time to openly travel with them. Fang Yuan said. Junior brother makes sense. Tai Bai Yun Sheng nodded. Chapter 747, Auction 1 The mountain stood high above the clouds on the peak. There was a mirror-like pond, reflecting the traces of clouds in the sky. This was Zhen Wu Blessed Land, the headquarters of Northern Plains Yuan tribe. The surname Yuan was not rare, it was very ordinary, in southern border, eastern sea, western desert, it existed in all five regions. But in northern plains, the surname Yuan was much more significant, it represented a super force, a supreme authority. In the sky above the water, a white-robed old man was waving his spear, his aura was grand as he whipped up wind currents that moved the clouds. The old man was white-haired but greatly spirited, his body was moving around, sometimes fast as lightning, sometimes slow like a rock. With the spear in his hand, he extended it like a dragon's movement, it was very surreal. But regardless of how much commotion he caused, the lake on this mountain peak did not even have any ripples, it was calm like a mirror. The lake water had much life, the seaweed was moving without any currents in it. 
A large group of carps watched the white-robed old man wave his spear under the water. They were opening their mouths continuously as they spoke one by one. Old man Yuan, you danced pretty well. It was a good sight. These spear skills are not bad. You had a trace of Taoist spear's shadow. Mm, the spear was swept too greatly though. The angle was a little off. Hearing the carp's words, the old man stopped his movements, landing beside the pond. The long spear in his hands was still giving off a bright white light, it turned into a goo and went into his robe. Next, he paid respects to the carp in the pond as he inquired, May I ask, the horizontal sweep earlier, why was the angle off? You used too much strength. Too brutish, you lost your grace. Old man, you are too old and yet feisty, you should eat some seaweed to lower it. The carps spoke incessantly, criticizing with no restraint. These carps were not ordinary, their skin was white as snow, while their scales were black like ink. The black and white formed a clear contrast, there was no other color. People called them true martial carp, they were born from heaven and earth, each of them was a mutated beast king. The old man thought about it before raising his finger, using his arm instead of a spear, and practicing his moves. Is this okay? No. Wrong. Old man, you are so stupid. The carps spoke one after another, scolding the old man. At this time, a Yuan tribe Gu immortal, Yuan Kai, came running, hearing the true martial carps' criticism, he did not feel anything strange. He paid respects to the old man as he said dutifully, Greetings to First Supreme Elder. The white-robed old man was Yuan tribe's first supreme elder, having rank 7 cultivation level with peak battle strength. Seeing someone come, he frowned unhappily. Junior Yuan Kai, why are you here? Didn't I say that when I am practicing my martial arts, I do not want anyone to disturb me? Lord, you instructed me earlier, so I am here to remind you not to miss the auction. Yuan Kai was extremely respectful. Oh, there was such a thing I nearly forgot, that means the auction is happening soon? Yuan tribe's first supreme elder patted his forehead. Yuan Kai laughed bitterly. Lord, today is the day of the auction. Ah, time flies so quickly. Lad, thank you for reminding me. When I return, I will reward you. Off I go. Saying so, Yuan tribe first supreme elder waved his sleeves and an immortal goo flew out of the pond. This goo was called human language. It could turn the words of beasts into human words. Human language immortal goo left, and the discussions of the true martial carps came to an end. One could only hear the slight bubbling when they opened their mouths. Yuan tribe first elder collected the human language immortal goo and flew away, turning into light. The carp group swam around one another. After some discussion, they felt bored and swam away. Yuan Kai looked at first elder's figure as he vanished into the horizon. First elder is still the same. He sighed, waving his sleeves at the pond. Winds blew and clouds moved, a thick white cloud covered and concealed this important place in Yuan tribe's territory. Magnolia pulp boat returns to the homeland of the lotus flower, singing in the hall lasts till late into the night. The lake reflects the willows surrounded by light fog, mountains far away resemble the contours of a beard that curls beautifully like a yellow moon. A scholar moved his head around as he held his scroll, sitting in a pavilion with lotus flowers in the water, he recited in this calm night as wind blew and a fragrance spread. A female attendant was beside the scholar. Her facial features were picturesque, her skin was white like snow, she was holding a small vessel as she poured wine into the wine cup. After the scholar finished reciting his poem, he held his scroll as he looked at it while grabbing the wine cup on the table. He drank the wine without even looking at it, after gulping it down he said, Although the wine is good, there is not much left. During this auction, we should request for a few more jars from that person. Hong Ziu, you will go with me on this trip. Let Tian Xiang stay here and guard the blessed land. Yes, young master. The female attendant was overjoyed as she replied quickly. Ding ding ding. 
Immortal Gu Heavenly Gong's sound resonated in the mind of Gu Immortal He Lang Zai. He sat on the ground, opening his eyes as blood flowed out of his seven orifices. This Immortal Gu Heavenly Gong is very powerful. I had only activated 5% of its power, but my five intestines shifted and my blood flowed backwards, even though I had also been activating a top-tier defensive mortal killer move. He Lang Zai laughed sinisterly, his blood flow went back to normal, in a few breaths of time, it was like he had never been injured. Such power, I do not need to worry about the immortal goo not being traded by anyone. He stood up and flew towards Crimson Reed Marsh. This is Crimson Reed Marsh, the scenery is great here. A rank 8 goo immortal wearing a tall hat and with a common face was looking down at the Crimson Reed Marsh below him. But all he saw were reeds growing, with water pathways that were complex and interweaved, resembling a maze. What was most eye-catching here were not the water ducks, the gulls, or the fish, it was the crimson red reed. Countless reeds surfaced from the water vigorously, seemingly carrying grandness and boldness, they were imposing and expanded without restraint, with the attitude of a king, they subdued all of the living beings here and took them for themselves. The rank 8 Gu Immortal observed before saying with some amazement, This scenery has both delicateness and grandness, the outstanding nature is hidden deeply. Based on such a sight, this kin by Sheng clearly is a meticulous person despite his grandness, he is unrestrained but also has a scheming mind. No wonder he could cause such a commotion and hold this grand auction. Esteemed guest has brilliant judgment. A rank seven Gu immortal beside him nodded in agreement. Kin Bai Sheng's actions were truly the source of a huge commotion. It was a great method to protect himself. I, Mirong Jin Zio, admire his actions greatly. I am looking forward to it, this auction that involves almost all of Northern Plains heroes. The rank eight Gu immortal greeted as the esteemed guest retracted his gaze, his tone becoming excited. Ha ha ha, Eastern Sea is rich in resources, countless heroes emerge from there. Esteemed guest is an overlord of a region, controlling the entire glass sea, although Northern Plains has many talents, there are few that are worthy of receiving your compliment. Mirong Jin Zio said respectfully. From his words, it seemed that this mysterious guest was not a Northern Plains Gu Immortal, he came from Eastern Sea. Brother Kin, we meet again. Fang Yuan cupped his fists, greeting Kin Bai Sheng. Ha ha ha, Brother Sha, I have been waiting for you. But I did not expect you to come directly from Fairy Lai Shan's side. Kin Bai Sheng was very enthusiastic. He grabbed Fang Yuan's arms like he really regarded him as a brother. Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng went together. They did not travel in Northern Plains. Instead, they entered Fairy Lai Shan's blessed land and used Whole Earth Gu to reach Bai Sheng blessed land. With their earlier agreement and the Mountain Pledge Gu, Fairy Lai Shan's and Kin Bai Sheng's blessed lands had been set up with a pair of Whole Earth Gu, allowing them to connect. Fang Yuan brought the thirteen sleeping cloud coffins and arrived in the blessed land through this path, meeting Kin Bai Sheng once again. There's no choice. I have such valuable treasures with me, with my low cultivation level, I can only come here through this method to reduce the risk. Fang Yuan purposely laughed bitterly. Don't be humble, brother, you are so well hidden, your depth is unfathomable. With just you and Fairy Lai Shan's relationship, who would dare to target you? Kin Bai Sheng said respectfully. No matter how good you are, there is always someone better than you. But if I have brother's battle strength, I would have no fear. Fang Yuan quickly replied in terms of interpersonal skills, he was not inferior to Kin Bai Sheng. I wonder who this is? Kin Bai Sheng turned around, looking at Tai Bai Yun Sheng who was next to Fang Yuan. Right now, Tai Bai Yun Sheng had used unfamiliar face and turned into an ordinary old man, his appearance was very different from before. This is my good friend, Gu Immortal Bai Sheng. Fang Yuan introduced fearlessly. Bai Sheng, forgive my ignorance, I did not know that a person of your caliber was hidden in our northern plains. Kin Bai Sheng took the initiative to greet. 
No, no, I am flattered. Tai Bai Yun Sheng quickly responded. Kim Bai Sheng brought Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng to the auction hall. For this auction, I purposely altered my blessed land to form this huge auction hall. Kim Bai Sheng introduced. It is quite extraordinary. There is a very magnificent aura, as expected of Brother Kin's setup. Fang Yuan smiled as he praised. Kin Bai Sheng showed a hint of worry and doubt, saying, I have no choice. Many huge forces and countless experts in Northern Plains were all invited to this auction. As the person in charge, if the auction is too run down, I will be offending them. Honestly speaking, there had been a huge pressure on me these recent days, I could barely sleep. Thankfully, with Brother Shaw, the blessed lands will definitely be a popular item when up for auction, I can't wait to see that commotion. I wonder if you have many. Fang Yuan did not say a number, only smiling as he said, Brother Kin, you can be at ease about it, no need to worry. Haha, of course I'm not worried. Kin Bai Sheng's gaze flashed, since he could not probe the answer, he changed the topic. In this auction, I have the main hall, single rooms, and secret rooms. The main hall can allow free interaction. The single rooms are for those Gu immortals with strange temperaments or who enjoy being alone. The secret rooms will hide everything about the Gu immortals' identity. These three arrangements have been written in the Alliance content long ago. Brother Shah does not need to worry that I have done some tricks behind the scenes. I wonder which location Brother Shah would choose. These three locations, can they be swapped at will during the process of the auction? Fang Yuan asked first. Of course. But if a secret room is already occupied, unless the owner agrees, nobody can get in. Kin Bai Sheng answered. Then I will choose a secret room. Fang Yuan said. I will choose a secret room too. Tai Bai Yun Sheng followed behind. Kin Bai Sheng nodded. The first nine secret rooms have been booked already. I'll give you the tenth and eleventh rooms respectively, how about that? Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng had no reason to say no. After they entered their secret rooms, Bai Sheng Blessed Land opened its entrance and invited many Gu Immortals in. Chapter 748, Auction 2 In the secret room, Fang Yuan was playing with the Gu Worms in his hands. These mortal Gu were owned by Kin Bai Sheng, but currently they were lended to the secret room's owner, thus Fang Yuan could activate them. He activated his primeval essence and tried to inject it, as the environment in the secret room changed at once. It seems that Kin Bai Sheng really put in some effort. Even though it is a secret room, it is like a small world in here, it is larger than a garden. These mortal goo can be used to change the environment, it can become a mountainous or river-like area, or even become an ocean or lake, a pavilion or a terrace. As Fang Yuan continued to use the goo, the environment in the secret room continued to change. At times it was a lush mountain, and he was at the peak of the mountain in a pavilion. At times there were huge rivers, and he was in a boat docked at the side of the river. Of course, these changes were just illusions, they were not real. If they were real, such terrain-changing abilities would definitely come from Immortal Gu, he would need to spend a lot of Immortal Essence. Fang Yuan retrieved the Gu Worms and browsed one with his mind. This East Window Gu had many of the auction items listed in it, they were all precious treasures. Fang Yuan was dazed upon seeing the huge catalogue. Some of the auction items had the conditions written in the description, other than using immortal essence stones to bid for them, one could also trade for them using resources. Evidently, these resources were what the owner of the auction item were looking for. Fang Yuan swept through the content of the list and focused on the latter portion. This portion's information listed a variety of immortal Gu, they had all sorts of effects and were from all kinds of different paths. The information on how to trade these Gu were all written on the back. Unlike the previous content, Immortal Gu were unique, they could not be bought using Immortal Essence Stones. This rule was practically set in stone, even during the Five Regions' chaotic war, it was still in place. Thus, to buy an Immortal Gu, one needed to use another Immortal Gu as the price. 
Fang Yuan's focused his mind and quickly saw that his immortal Gu were also listed there. There were four immortal Gu, rising azure cloud, worldly wave trace, calamity beckoning, and delight in water and mountain. The former two were movement immortal Gu, one was cloud path and the other was water path. They were incompatible with Fang Yuan's strength path. Although Tai Bai Yun Sheng cultivated Cloud Path as well, he was a Time Path Gu Immortal, Rising Azure Cloud was also not suitable for him. As for Calamity Beckoning Immortal Gu, it was rank 7, but the effect could be said to be harming oneself, it was practically a Luck Path suicidal weapon. Even though Fang Yuan had conceived some uses for it, if he could exchange it for other Immortal Gu, that would be more worthwhile. The final one was Delight in Water and Mountain Immortal Gu. It could produce huge amounts of joyful will. But Fang Yuan was already prepared to mass produce malicious thought Gu. In that case, it could replace the use of joyful will. He might as well put it up for auction and see what Immortal Gu he can get from it. If there is no suitable trade, he could just take it back. After the four Immortal Gu, Fang Yuan naturally listed the conditions for exchanging them. What was worth mentioning was that these four immortal Gu were all put up using Fairy Lai Shan's channel, he was not associated with them. Even though Calamity Beckoning Immortal Gu was quite troublesome to sell and might even attract trouble, if it could be traded for a useful immortal Gu, the benefits exceeded the cost. If he missed this golden opportunity, he might not have an equivalent one for several hundred years until the Five Regions' Chaotic War. Fang Yuan was a vigilant person, but he was also resolute. When he needed to take risks, he would not cower in fear and doubt. Other than these four immortal Gu, I still have Spring Autumn Cicada, Cleanse Soul, Connect Luck, Woman's Heart, and In a Way Wisdom Gu. Fang Yuan counted, he needed these remaining five immortal Gu, he would not put them up at the auction, or even give any chances of exposing them if possible. Spring Autumn Cicada's actual effect would only be known by the user, even though there was a chance of failure, Fang Yuan obtained a lot of benefit from it and gained much experience he could not do without it. Even with Wisdom Gu in Who Immortal Blessed Land, Spring Autumn Cicada was still his biggest trump card. Fang Yuan had already decided that Spring Autumn Cicada would remain as his vital Gu in his first aperture. In the future, if he had a chance, he would choose Time Path in undergoing Immortal Ascension. Cleanse Soul Immortal Gu was the core of the Immortal Killer move Myriad Self. Although it was hungry and could not be used, he would not sell it. Connect Luck Immortal Gu could make up for Spring Autumn Cicada's weakness. Fang Yuan had already experienced the power of Luck Path. He would not let go of this Immortal Gu. Wisdom Gu was out of the question, if he took it out, it would cause a huge commotion and make countless people go after his life. As for Woman's Heart Immortal Gu, it was originally something Fang Yuan wanted to get rid of. But due to a coincidence, Fang Yuan deduced the Poison Spit Killer move. This Woman's Heart Immortal Gu was its core, and was now placed at the right part of Fang Yuan's chest. It was like a heart, beating continuously. It was small like a baby's fist, it looked purple-black and was surrounded in poisonous energy, it was already connected to Fang Yuan's bloodstream. Every time he breathed, the zombie blood would flow slowly, carrying the poison and circulating in Fang Yuan's body. From this point, one could see traces of the Wisdom Path Killer move, harboring malicious heart. But the mortal goo assisting woman's heart were like a goo formation for reverse refinement. Through reverse refinement, they were extracting woman's heart strength. This was due to immortal goo woman's heart's special property refinement and nurturing in one. This goo needed the hearts of women to feed it. After it is full, the more it is fed, the stronger the poison. Right now, Fang Yuan was using a reverse refinement process to draw out that poison. Man is the spirit of all living beings. Although woman's heart is a consumable immortal goo, and would be expended in one use normally through his own method and combining it with other goo worms, it could be used repeatedly by extracting its power slowly and continuously. Poison spit is only an incomplete immortal move, it needs to be improved later. With wisdom goo, it should not be a problem. 
Fang Yuan gathered his thoughts as he put down the east window goo, he willed and the view in front of him became clear, Fang Yuan could see the auction hall. The auction was split into the main hall, single rooms and secret rooms. Fang Yuan could not see the latter too, he could only see the main hall. Right now, on the seats in the main hall were more than twenty Gu Immortals, they were talking openly without fear of eavesdroppers. Old Lu, it has been a while, I trust that you have been well. Oh, King Xuanzai, you have gone through the second heavenly tribulation already right. I am ashamed, my foundation is too weak, I was scared and have placed my blessed land in the outside world of northern plains these recent years. After spending a lot of resources and borrowing a time path immortal goo, I have slowed the flow of time in my blessed land right now, I still have one heavenly tribulation cultivation. The earthly calamities are hard to survive, the heavenly tribulations are even harder obstacles. You are very stable and careful, not taking huge risks, this is a very safe method. Shi Yu Yan, you are here too? If your words are too funny. If you, Wu Rong, can come, why can't I? HMPH, the grudge of you snatching my goo back then, I will take revenge. Just you wait. Haha, <laughs> I know this immortal goo is suitable for your use, but I am going to auction it. Let's see if you have the ability to bid for it. Some goo immortals were catching up on old times, some were building relationships, but there were others with great animosity. They were like barrels of gunpowder. At this moment, a white-robed old man walked into the main hall. Haha, -ha, there are quite a number of people. The white-robed old man was Yuan tribe's first supreme elder. He looked around and laughed heartily. His laughter soon attracted the attention of the people in the hall as talks became softer. Fang Yuan directed his gaze as well. This first supreme elder of Yuan tribe was a rank seven Gu immortal, the leader of the super force Yuan tribe of Northern Plains. He had exemplary battle strength and financial power. He was a strong contender in this auction. Qin Bai Sheng was standing at the entrance inviting guests inside. He went up and paid his respects. It is truly my Bai Sheng blessed land's great fortune that Lord Yuan is here to grace our auction with his presence. Don't call me Lord, call me by my name, Yuan Rang Zun. Yuan tribe's first supreme elder saw Qin Bai Sheng and his eyes shined, he patted Qin Bai Sheng's back with much enthusiasm. Long ago, he had fought with Qin Bai Sheng, the latter's strength had gained his acknowledgement. But I had some gains after practicing my spear skills recently, is there any time we can spar once again? Yuan Rang Zun's changed the topic, and he showed his true nature as a martial arts fanatic. Senior Yuan's Dao Mark spear arts are still vivid in my memories. I wonder if Senior Yuan would like to sit in the main hall, or get a single room or a secret room. Qin Bai Sheng laughed, he did not reply to the invitation. Give me a single room. Yuan Rang Zun knew that now was not the time for this, he thought about it and gave his response. Just as Yuan Rang Zun stepped into his single room, a handsome scholar walked into the auction with a female Gu immortal following behind him. Unfettered scholar came too. The gazes of the Gu immortals in the main hall were attracted again. I had heard that unfettered scholar has great luck with women, having two Gu immortal attendants named Tian Xiang and Hong Ziu. I wonder who came with him. Many male Gu immortals turned around to look at the female Gu immortal. She wears a red dress that looks like fire, it should be Fairy Hong Ziu. If it was Fairy Tian Xiang who was born with a certain fragrance, the main hall would have already been filled with fragrance if she was here. A certain Gu immortal who knew a lot about them said with much enthusiasm. Fang Yuan's mind rapidly went through the information. This unfettered scholar was a lone cultivator, he had quite a few obstacles in life. His ancestors were not from northern plains, he came from a clan in central continent that had gone downhill. Central continent was full of sex, it was tough for clans to survive. If they could, they would cross the regional walls and live in the other four regions. Alone in another region, unfettered scholars' clan was ostracized and lost a lot of their strength, they were barely surviving in northern plains, their situation was turning worse. 
After several generations, they had finally mixed into northern plains, but at that time, they were on their deathbed like a dying old man. By unfettered scholar's generation, the clan had already been thoroughly destroyed. Unfettered scholar brought along his two attendants, and they escaped for their lives, living a tough life. In their most difficult moments, even though they were in danger of dying, unfettered scholar had never abandoned his two attendants. Eventually, he obtained an opportunity and became a goo immortal. After becoming an immortal, he spent a lot of money and effort to make his attendants immortals as well. This was quite a story in Northern Plains' goo immortal world. Be it Yuan Rang Zun, Unfettered Scholar, or the other Gu Immortals, they each had their own exciting stories, they were the main characters of their own legendary tales. Gu Masters who were able to become Immortals naturally were exemplary characters. Before this auction had even begun, before all of the Gu Immortals had entered, brilliant heroes and geniuses had already appeared like shining stars in the sky. Chapter 749, Auction 3 Brother Kin, go ahead with your work, we can choose a room for ourselves. Unfettered scholar waved to Kin Bai Sheng as he spoke in a tone that revealed his close relationship with Kin Bai Sheng. Next, unfettered scholar walked away slowly into a room with Fairy Hong Ziu. After he left, more Gu immortals arrived, some chose single rooms, but most chose the main hall. As for those who chose the secret rooms, they entered through secret channels into their respective rooms. This could not be seen from the main hall. Although Kin Bai Sheng is a lone cultivator, he has great strength and yet shows great respect for people. He has a wide network and relationships with many experts. Tai Bai Yun Sheng transmitted from the 11th secret room. This was the first time he had met Kin Bai Sheng, yet he had a high evaluation of the man. Fang Yuan looked at the hall as he analyzed. It is not entirely Kin Bai Sheng's credit. Earlier, when 88 True Young building collapsed, Northern Plains Gu Immortals obtained many immortal Gu, they need to trade them and satisfy their own requirements. There is also the essence of the luck path true inheritance. In addition, with Imperial Court Blessed Land's destruction, Northern Plains' situation has rapidly changed, all the super forces need to establish new rules. Because of this specific timing and situation, the auction could become so huge. Kin Bai Sheng and Fairy Lai Shan were able to invite rank 8 Gu Immortals not only as a result of their own reputations. As time passed, more and more Gu Immortals arrived. In the hall, Gu Immortals were talking and created lots of noise. Although Gu Immortals were powerful and had unlimited primeval essence, capable of crushing mortals, they were busy with managing their immortal apertures and had to make lots of preparations for the calamities and tribulations, they had very limited time. Furthermore, the world was huge and Gu Immortals were small in numbers, it was rare for them to interact with each other. Especially an opportunity like this which gathered so many Gu Immortals, it was very rare. Gu Immortals needed to interact, they placed great emphasis on their social network. Immortal Gu were unique. Often Gu Immortals needed to borrow Immortal Gu to settle their problems. Furthermore, the economy of this world was not developed. Many precious resources could not be bought using Immortal Essence Stones, they could only be traded with rare goods at times. This auction gathered almost all of the Gu Immortals in Northern Plains. Such an opportunity to interact was extremely rare. In the main hall, Gu Immortals talked and exchanged information. Even several enemies had their grudges temporarily mediated and resolved. Gu Immortals were so rare, their social network was only so big. If one was not a friend, they would be an enemy. Even if they were a stranger, they would still be connected somehow in this social network as long as they talked about their friends. After unfettered scholar, an old man carrying a walking cane walked into the auction hall slowly. Kin Bai Sheng saw this and his expression brightened. He quickly walked forward and paid respects. Kin Bai Sheng pays respects to Lord Yao Huang. Yao Huang, one of the five rank eight Gu immortals in Northern Plains. The hall was silent, many Gu Immortals could not sit any longer, they stood up and greeted. Lord Yao Huang, you are my benefactor, please accept my respects. 
If not for Lord Yao Huang, I would still be injured now. Lord Yao Huang, do you remember me? I am Zio Si, who searched for the bean sprout worm for you back then. Even the Gu Immortals who were in the single rooms walked out and greeted Yao Huang. Hello everyone, good day, good day. Yao Huang had an amicable expression as he nodded, he did not put on airs and was not acting arrogantly. Like Tai Bai Yun Sheng, Yao Huang was a healing Gu Immortal and was famous in the Righteous Path, he had a pure Huang Jin bloodline. Being the first supreme elder of the Super Force Yao tribe, he had a lofty reputation in Northern Plains, it could be said to be the highest of the five rank eight Gu Immortals of Northern Plains. Stories regarding Yao Huang was numerous, they would take more than three days and three nights to read. The following story was closely connected to Fang Yuan, it happened decades ago. Yao Huang created a new healing immortal Gu. For the last 100 years, he had been asking for immortal zombies in Zombie Alliance to do experiments on them. As his research got deeper, Yao Huang had some results and actually managed to turn himself into an immortal zombie. Many Gu immortal experts were unable to learn about the truth. They were deceived and thought that Yao Huang's lifespan was almost used up, forcing him to become an immortal zombie. Yao Huang thus proclaimed that he wanted to join Zombie Alliance. At the same time, Zombie Alliance's leader, Blazing Heaven Demoness, already had left and entered Eastern Sea. Without the leader, Zombie Alliance only had Yin Liu Gong and the other two rank sevens to guard the headquarters. No one in Zombie Alliance could expose Yao Huang's methods, but at the final moment, he lost to the entrance of the discussion hall. No matter how Yao Huang pushed it, he could not open the door, this made the immortal zombies only able to look at each other in dismay. Eventually, Yao Huang could not get in and could only laugh loudly, removing his disguise and explaining the truth. Even though he had lied to everyone, he had a great reputation and high cultivation level, none of the immortal zombies dared to offend him. In the end, they even sent him back courteously. Just as Yao Huang walked in, Yin Liu Gong arrived as well. Oh, little Liu. Yao Huang looked back and greeted. Junior pays respects to Lord Yao Huang. Yin Liu Gong had a flattering expression as he went up and greeted. Right now, Zombie Alliance took up the mission just in time. That immortal zombie came to Yao tribe and my research was not held up. Speaking of which, it is all thanks to the cooperation of your Zombie Alliance. Yao Huang thanked while smiling. I am flattered, it is our honor to work with Lord Yao Huang. In the future, when Lord Yao Huang succeeds in the new healing immortal Gu, it would benefit the Gu immortals in Northern Plains as well. Yin Liu Gong was skilled at social relations, he spoke appropriate words. Yao Huang stretched out his wrinkled arm, grabbing Yin Liu Gong. Come little Liu, sit together with me. Before Yin Liu Gong could reject him, he said to Kin Bai Sheng, Little Kin, give us a single room. Thus, under everyone's envious gazes, the two entered the single room. Yao Huang was the first rank 8 Gu Immortal to enter, next, Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu, Five Elements Grandmaster, and Old Ancestor Zhu who appeared. Each of their appearances unavoidably caused a huge commotion. Before the appearance of Great Dream Immortal Venerable, Rank 8 was the peak of the Gu Immortal World's battle strength. The five Rank 8 Gu Immortals in Northern Plains were noble existences that earned much reverence from people. Among them, Old Ancestor Zhu who was the number one person in the Demonic Path, he was the leader of Snowy Mountain Blessed Land. Yao Huang was the first Supreme Elder of Yao Tribe, he was a Rank 8 of the Righteous Path. Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu and Five Elements Grandmaster were lone cultivators, they were neither righteous nor demonic, they were in the neutral faction. Lastly, there was Prince Feng Zion, he was also a righteous path Gu Immortal. But he was only an external supreme elder of the Super Force Gong tribe. He did not have the Huang Jin bloodline in him, his status was rather awkward. Because he had some grievances with Gong tribe, he had been living outside for many years. He did not work for Gong Tribe, only when Gong Tribe encounters a huge crisis would he help out. Among the five rank eights, two were righteous, 
one was demonic and two were neutral. Such a relationship was also the current balance of power in Northern Plains. The next three rank eight experts all chose single rooms. In the hall, there were already 40 to 50 people. Among the five rank eights, four have already appeared. Only Prince Fong Zion is left. This is really a rare event that is hard to witness in hundreds of years. It is an eye-opening experience. To be able to leave an impression on these experts, this trip was worth it. Rank 8 great experts are all glorious and have naturally imposing auras. I wonder what Prince Feng Zion's demeanor would be like. As everyone waited in anticipation, a cold-looking female Bu Immortal walked in silently. It was Feng Jiu Ji who had disguised himself as Fairy Yulan. Many people knew about Fairy Yulan and Prince Feng Zion's relationship, their attention was quickly drawn over. Qin Bai Sheng quickly attended to him. Master is blending his grotto Heaven's Kai, I will be representing him for this auction. Feng Jiu Ji said, without laughing or smiling. He had huge guts as an outside region's Gu Immortal, he dared to attend the Northern Plains auction at this sensitive time. The moment he appeared, he announced this loudly, it was to deter the others. By using Prince Feng Zion as a shield, it would help him during the process of the auction. Hearing that Prince Feng Zion was not coming, a wave of disappointment came over the main hall. Feng Jiu Ji had a calm expression, vaguely familiar face was really an amazing killer move, none of the Gu Immortals in the hall could see any flaws in his disguise. Of course, this also was because the Gu Immortals were respecting each other and did not use investigative Gu to peek at one other for no reason. Especially when Fairy Yulan, who Feng Jiu Ji was disguised as, had a rank 8 great expert behind her. In addition, nobody would expect him to be so daring. Under everyone's shining gazes, Fairy Yulan walked into a single room. Like Fang Yuan, he toyed around with the mortal goo and changed the environment in the room. Next, he grabbed the east window goo and looked inside. Oh, the moment he looked at it, Feng Jiu Ji's heart jumped. Worldly wave trace immortal goo, delight in water and mountain immortal goo, aren't these the core goo worms for an immortal goo house, water pavilion of my sect? They actually appeared here. Shock flashed across Fong Jiu Ji's eyes, but it quickly calmed and disappeared. This showed his supreme control over his own mental state. It seems that the supreme elders in the sect guessed correctly. Back then, our sect saintess Mo Yao had brought Water Pavilion into Imperial Court Blessed Land. Without Water Pavilion's help, she would not have been able to enter Imperial Court Blessed Land. Now that Imperial Court Blessed Land was destroyed and 88 True Yang building collapsed, it seems that Water Pavilion also broke apart and the Core Gu were taken by Northern Plains Gu Immortals. Oh, there is Calamity beckoning Immortal Gu. According to the sect records, Saintess Mo Yao had once obtained the essence of Luck Path in 88 True Yang building, refining Calamity beckoning Immortal Gu to help her husband, Bo King. But Bo King's tribulation was too great. Even though Calamity beckoning Immortal Gu drew away part of the tribulation, they could not survive. Both of them perished. Calamity beckoning Immortal Gu was also destroyed in the process. To think that there is a new Calamity beckoning Immortal Gu. This discovery gave Feng Jiu Ji further suspicions. How did Calamity beckoning Immortal Gu come about? Who refined it? The person auctioning it? Or did it scatter into the outside world after Imperial Court Blessed Land was destroyed, thus being taken by someone? What did this have to do with Mo Yao? According to rumors, Mo Yao left behind an inheritance. Would this inheritance contain the way to refine Calamity Beckoning Immortal Gu? At once, Feng Jiu Ji fell into deep thought. Many ideas appeared in his mind. He <laughs> he. He suddenly laughed. This auction was really worth coming to, the moment I entered, I obtained so many clues. In any case, I have to take back delight in water and mountain and worldly wave trace, Spirit Affinity House has lost water pavilion for too long. As for Calamity beckoning Immortal Goo, it is rank 7, the price for exchanging for it is very high, I'll see how things go first. Chapter 750, Auction 4 
things progressed stably with the passage of time. The Gu immortals entering became fewer and fewer. After a while longer, Qin Bai Sheng closed the entrance of his blessed land. He walked to the raised platform in front of the main hall, proclaiming briefly and to the point, Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived, the auction will officially start. Strange, why have Fairy Lai Shan and Hai Lu Lan not arrived? Tai Bai Yun Sheng transmitted a message to Fang Yun. Yes, I am also puzzled. According to Fairy Lai Shan's nature, she should be sitting in the main hall after she arrives. However, there is not even a trace of her. Fang Yuan replied. The auction currently has three spaces for participants. The main hall, single rooms and secret rooms. If they had chosen a secret room, they would have entered directly through secret pathways and not made a public appearance. But even if Fairy Lai Shan entered a secret room, she would not have done so without even greeting us. Have you noticed this? There are no Gu immortals of high tribe present. Tai Bai Yun Sheng pointed it out. Fang Yuan mumbled. We should first send a letter inquiring about the situation. Fairy Lai Shan and Hai Lu Lan are bound to us by the Snowy Mountain Alliance. The possibility of them betraying us is not likely. If they encountered an ambush from Hai Cheng and others with the strength of those two, they should have been able to send a message to request for support. While the two were secretly discussing, the first auction item was already displayed on the platform. Everyone should know, these are Sky Chief Clouds. When they are spread out, they can stretch out for over a thousand and three hundred square kilometers. Such a large amount of Sky Chief Clouds are rare even in Treasure Yellow Heaven. The starting bid is 20 Immortal Essence Stones. Every bid should be an increase of at least 5 Immortal Essence Stones. Please start, Kim Bai Sheng announced. Sky Chief Clouds, this is useful for my Tai Bai Blessed Land. Tai Bai Yun Sheng's attention was immediately attracted, and he subconsciously utilized the prepared Mortal Gu in the secret room to make his bid. Kim Bai Sheng sensed the bid and immediately announced, the eleventh secret room bids thirty immortal essence stones. The next moment, a cloud path Gu immortal in the main hall shouted, Thirty-five immortal essence stones. Tai Bai Yun Sheng chuckled as he activated the mortal Gu to bid again. He directly raised the price by ten to forty-five immortal essence stones. Forty-five immortal essence stones were enough to buy a desolate beast corpse. The cloud path Gu Immortal who had made the bid gritted his teeth, hesitating for a while, but not making another bid. On the ground, there was the Earth Chief Beast in the sky, there was the Sky Chief Beast. Within the immemorial nine heavens, Sky Chief Beast groups more or less lived in each of the heavens. The so-called Sky Chief Clouds were formed from the breath of the Sky Chief Beast, condensing slowly over long periods of time. These clouds could construct an environment in the immortal aperture that could greatly increase the production of cloud path goo worms. If a group of sky chief beasts live in this cloudy environment, the effect would be even more wondrous, and if it was managed properly, there would be a never-ending flow of sky chief clouds. However, the intact parts of the immemorial nine heavens could only be explored by powerful rank seven or rank eight goo immortals. Every Sky Chief Beast was at least a mutated Beast King, comparable to an ordinary Beast Emperor. And the King of every group of Sky Chief Beasts was essentially at desolate Beast level. 45 Immortal Essence Stones going once. Kin Bai Sheng spoke, seeing that there were no more bids. There are already large numbers of float ball tea in my blessed land. I will have the first batch of harvest at the end of this month. I intend to bring in jade hummingbirds later on. If I can add sky chief clouds, I will have the building blocks to smoothly bring in sky flowers and floating sparrowhawks. Junior brother, you advance to goo immortal later than me, but you already have experience in managing blessed lands through who immortal blessed land. Can you tell me what you think of my plan? Tai Bai Yun Sheng chuckled as he transmitted his voice to Fang Yuan. On the platform, Kin Bai Sheng shouted again. 45 Immortal Essence Stones going twice. Fang Yuan pondered for a moment and replied to Tai Bai Yun Sheng. 
sky flowers indeed grow on clouds, and floating sparrowhawks often are the host for cloud path goo worms. Old Bai, are you thinking of cultivating both time path and cloud path? Yes. My time path abilities are specialized in healing, if I can add in cloud path, it can make up for the other shortcomings. Tai Bai Yun Sheng said without reservation. He was originally skilled with cloud path in movement ability, his attainment reaching flying master realm using it. Later, he had dealings with Northern Plains Ink Man King Mo Tan Sang, who sold him the killer move 9 Cloud Ring for a low price, this deepened tie by Yun Sheng's interest in Cloud Path. Fang Yuan did not feel this choice was abrupt. At this moment, Kin Bai Sheng shouted for the third time. 45 Immortal Essence Stones for over 1,300 square kilometers of Sky Chief Clouds, going thry. Hold on, 55 immortal essence stones. The bid was just about to be decided when suddenly a goo immortal spoke up. His voice came from the 17th single room. A. Tai Bai Yun Sheng had not expected such a change as he hurriedly made a bid, 60 immortal essence stones. This price finally dispelled any thoughts of buying from everyone present, allowing Tai Bai Yun Sheng to get his wish. The second item for auction is a group of rare black spirit antelopes. The beast group's size reaches 320,000 and has five beast emperors. The lowest price is 10 immortal essence stones, every bid should be at least 4 immortal essence stones higher. The price can be lowered if you use vertical rainbow ointment to trade. Kin Bai Sheng announced. Black spirit antelopes were already hard to find in northern plains, this beast group's size was so large it should have been reared in some goo immortal's immortal aperture. The goo worms residing in black spirit antelopes were mainly soul path goo worms, thus this especially attracted the attention of soul path goo immortals. The goo immortal putting this group of black spirit antelopes up for sale required a goo refinement material, vertical rainbow ointment. Thus the bidding could be done using immortal essence stones or vertical rainbow ointment. A round of bidding passed, and this black spirit antelope group was purchased by a goo immortal for 28 immortal essence stones. The third item is a set of goo recipes that came from the medieval antiquity era, its name is Inch of Time. It contains all the recipes from rank 1 to rank 5, and the crucial point is that these goo recipes have already been improved. All of the refinement materials can be found commonly. The lowest price is 22 Immortal Essence Stones, and you can also use the Desolate Beast, Six-Headed Snake's Skin to reduce the price. Kin Bai Sheng announced. 23 Immortal Essence Stones. Isn't it disgraceful to add only one Immortal Essence Stone? 30 Immortal Essence Stones. I bid 32. This time, there were clearly more Goo Immortals bidding than the previous two times. Inch of Time was a time path Goo Worm which could not be used on humans but could be used on other targets and was extensively used in Goo Refinement. For instance, if a Goo Worm required three days and three nights to be refined and the Inch of Time Goo was used, it would quickly reach the state that required three days and three nights of time by accelerating the growth and transformation of the goo worm, and the amount of time the goo master would have to spend probably would only be few short moments. Fang Yuan had obtained the goo recipe for the olden antiquity era's group strength goo, the market price of which was only two immortal essence stones. Inch of Time was only a goo recipe from the medieval antiquity era, but it was a complete set from the rank 1 goo, 1 inch of time, to the rank 5 goo, 5 inches of time. The most important point was that this goo recipe had already been improved by the goo immortal. All the goo refinement materials required also conformed to the present situation and were not difficult to obtain. It was not like the original goo recipe in which many refinement materials would be extremely scarce, expensive, or extinct. This point determined the explosive increase in the price, reaching the base price of 22 Immortal Essence Stones. Soon, the bidding reached 48 Immortal Essence Stones. Tai Bai Yun Sheng also made his bid at this time. 58 Immortal Essence Stones. 
he increased the price by ten immortal essence stones at once, attempting to scare off the competitors. Tai Bai Yun Sheng was rich, even more so than Fang Yuan. He had landscape as before and man as before, two great time path healing immortal Gu, and therefore was very much sought after in Eastern Sea. Especially in the exploration of Yulu Blessed Land, they might have failed, but he had used man as before to save a Gu immortal. This Gu immortal gave him a hundred or so immortal essence stones as remuneration, and also said he owed Tai Bai Yun Sheng a favor which he would pay in the future. Most crucially, Tai Bai Yun Sheng's blessed land was healthy and produced green grape immortal essence at every fixed interval of time. His green grape immortal essence was accumulating day by day to the extent that he could not use them all up. His Tai Bai blessed land's time flow was 33 times faster than the outside world, nearly the same as Hai Lu land's super grade blessed land. This was because his was a high-grade blessed land, and he was also a time-path Gu immortal. Thus, in the aspect of time-path resources, it was rather outstanding. One day in the outside world would be a month in Tai by Yun Sheng's blessed land. In theory, blessed lands would produce green grape immortal essence every month. In the same given time for the outside world, the amount of green grape immortal essence Tai Bai Yun Sheng obtained was several times or even ten times higher than ordinary rank six Gu immortals. On the contrary, Fang Yuan might have guts Gu business, but he had to handle all sorts of expenses, especially the constant converting of immortal essence stones to green grape immortal essence. His immortal aperture was dead and could no longer produce immortal essence, moreover it would crumble and shrink every set interval of time, which was an extremely large setback to him. Tai Bai Yun Cheng's bid indeed scared off most of the competing Gu immortals. But there was still some who persisted. As the bid increased with two additional offers, the price had slowly risen to 66 immortal essence stones. 66 immortal essence stones to purchase a set of mortal goo recipes. Some of the low-level goo immortals in the main hall were tongue-tied. It can't be considered expensive. Inch of time cannot be used on oneself, but it can be used to save time and has wide range of applications like reducing the duration of goo refinement. If you consider it in the long term, especially for those Gu immortals who also cultivate refinement path, they can use inch of time to slowly accumulate savings worth 66 immortal essence stones. A Gu immortal calmly analyzed. This price is already at the peak. It would be unwise to raise the price further, unless you have a special requirement for it. Another Gu immortal added his analysis. 66 immortal essence stones going once. Kin Bai Sheng started to close the bids. At this moment, Fang Yuan transmitted his voice to Tai Bai Yun Sheng. Old Bai, let's split the immortal essence stones and make the bid together. Tai Bai Yun Sheng was happy. Junior brother, you also have the intent to get it, that is good. He thus raised the price directly to 68. Only one other Gu immortal continued to bid, adding one immortal essence stone. Finally, Fang Yuan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng paid an expensive price of 70 immortal essence stones to finish the purchase of Inch of Time. Time passed by, one after another, treasures continued to be auctioned off. The competition in the main hall was getting more fierce and the atmosphere had also turned fiery. Many Gu immortals lost their bearings and started arguing. Although they had sense and calmness, with large profits in front, they could not help being flushed with agitation. After dozens of items were auctioned off, some low-leveled Gu immortals already became powerless to continue fighting, some were perspiring, some were pale, while many were exhausted. The bidding did not only compare wealth, but also involved psychological battles. Gradually, rank 6 Gu immortal bidders became sparser. Rank 6 Gu Immortals usually had several hundreds of Immortal Essence Stones of Savings, while Rank 7 would have several thousands or over 10,000 directly in their hands. At Rank 8, having several tens of thousands available was a certainty, and those who had accumulated over the years would have hundreds of thousands of Immortal Essence Stones in hand. 
the stronger the cultivation, the more resources they owned. Ordinary rank sixes had too weak of a foundation. Fortunately, they could lower the price with other goods, otherwise most of them would have already been completely out of the game. Fang Yuan also only had few hundred immortal essence stones. He had made bids, but there were very few successes while most failed, and he was still waiting patiently for the main show. Finally, he heard Qin Bai Sheng announce, Next, we shall begin the auction of immortal goo. The most important part is here, Fang Yuan's eyes brightened. Not only him, other Gu Immortals were also invigorated. The previous auction could only be considered the prelude, the true event had just taken stage. Immortal Gu trade, 